Fatima Adan Kuso walked more than 180 miles with her two children to Somalia's Dolo, surviving on handouts along the way. Her country is in the grip of a hunger crisis, with the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization warning that parts of Somalia could experience famine in September. When we finished our stock of food from the farm and animals started dying, we could not feed our children. We decided to flee because of hunger. The FAO said eight regions in the Horn of Africa country could be affected by famine. If livestock continue to die, key commodity prices rise further and humanitarian assistance fails to reach the most vulnerable. That's after unprecedented poor rainfalls and intense dry conditions. More than three million animals, essential to Somalia's pastoral and agro-pastoral communities, have died so far. Crop production has substantially dropped. And that's why families like Fatima's and that of farmer Hassan Abdul Quran are being forced to flee their homes. There was severe drought in the country and no rain, so whatever we planted did not grow. Since the beginning of this year, drought has displaced more than 900,000 people. Rain Paulson, Emergencies and Resilience Director at the FAO, says their focus is on livelihoods. It's providing cash to allow people to buy food to survive. It's about keeping their animals alive with emergency feeding, with uh, vet treatments, uh, with water supplies for animals in a drought context, which is super important. The FAO says it reached a little over 265,000 households between January and June this year. But that the scale of assistance currently being delivered and the amount of funding from the international community is not sufficient. Those requiring urgent humanitarian assistance has increased from 4.1 million at the start of the year to 7.1 million between June and September.